This is where you just have to discern and ask yourself, what's most important to me when I'm buying a running shoe? Is it the weight? Is it the wear and tear? Is it... Uh... Let's go. Nova Blast 1. Who's missing that blue colorway? And that decoupled groove. Come on, Asics. All right, we'll get to that decoupled groove in a minute. How we doing out there? Welcome back to the studio. Shoe reviews are back, and it's exciting. And kicking off uh, some more shoe reviews with the Nova Blast 3. Who owns this shoe? Raise your hand in the comments. We'll get you the QD here in a minute. Actually, should we do it? Actually, let's do this now. Let's do this now. Question of the day. Which do you prefer, the Nova Blast 3 or the Nova Blast 2? If you had only buy one moving forward, who has owned both of them? Which do you like more? Nova Blast 2, Nova Blast 3? Make your case down in the comments. That's the question of the day. We're looking at an engineered monofilament mesh for that upper. I'm gonna, I'll give you the positive for the entire shoe right now. It's the collar combined with the heel counter combined with the heel tab. Remember, Nova Blast 1, I was not the only runner around the world to have some pretty serious blisters at the back of the uh, Achilles tendon. It was bad uh, with, you know, I guess that was two years ago now. Nova Blast 2, they fixed it, and Nova Blast 3, I think they even improved that heel counter, heel tab collar. Awesome, very, very comfortable. There's my scores for the upper. Uh, Good lockdown, not an epic lockdown. All right, we'll leave it at that. Flight Foam Blast Plus through that midsole material. It is a 44 for the Shore C durometer, which is pretty close to where I like it. You know, maybe a little bit on the firm side, but pretty good overall now. Energy return, nice, solid. You know, I feel, I feel it, it's good. Is it as good as the two, as good as the one? I'll just say right now, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel like it was bouncier. All right, remember, all right, so here's the one, decoupled groove time. The decoupled, all right, I don't, this is the, this is the outsole, but it's, um, even though it's connected to the midsole, the decoupled groove on the one was so special. It was bouncy. Remember the trampoline effect? I said it a million times in the old studio, and it just doesn't feel like it has that same bounce, even though, and this is the problem, the fight, Flight Foam Blast Plus is already starting to crease. I don't know if you can see it, but in kind of a major way. And I'm sh so as far as the durability prediction to get that full benefit out of that midsole where you're, you're feeling like you got good energy return and you're getting that benefit back through the foot strike, it's, I don't know, I'm gonna go 250 to 300. If you own this shoe, please email your pictures to info at demoreglobalrunning.com after 300 miles, all right? I'll be so fascinated to see what your midsole looks like at 300 miles so oh and last but not least the reason the scores are not better for that midsole is the girth the companies are feeling like they need to put more midsole foam into their midsoles and i think it's creating a boat effect under step it feels like i'm carrying too much midsole it's like the alpha fly versus the next percent too now the weight solid okay they did manage to drop the weight because of that flight foam blast plus midsole material but it's like that, it's when, and this is where you just have to discern and ask yourself, what's most important to me when I'm buying a running shoe? Is it the weight? Is it the wear and tear? Is it the bounce? Is it the energy return? Is it the lockdown? And that's where the tweener shoes really pay off. Remember the matrix, I'll link to it down below in the description, upper right hand corner. Uh, this is not in the matrix because I just tested it. I'll do a new, another matrix in the next month or two. Uh, probably like late December. On to that outsole, Ahar, there it is uh, in the decoupled groove. All right, and I am adding my thoughts to this shoe from the, from the Nova Blast 2, meaning the decoupled groove from the one to the two to the three is getting shallower, and maybe people are recommending that. For me, I prefer the deeper decoupled groove to give that, that trampoline feel without having to put Flight Foam Blast Plus into the mid, if that makes sense. Ah, I know it's a little complex if you're just subscribing. Welcome, by the way. Moving on to the fit, the comfort. There it is on your screen. Standard, standard, all across the boards. Uh, I already talked about the drawback is that decoupled groove getting shallower and durability prediction. And last but not least, um, okay, well, first of all, who's the shoe best for? Again, if you like a little more shoe under step, like you like that feel, 
don't buy this shoe if you like ground contact. If you like ground contact feel, uh, run away. Like this is the opposite of ground contact feel, okay? And I'm, I, you know, I know some people do prefer that little bit of a firmer ride under step. And you know, I'm thinking like the SL20 lineup from Adidas um, is a, a little bit of firmer ride, and you can feel the ground just a smidge under step in that shoe price point. Oh, see this? Oh, oh man. Asics, Asics, is it supply chain? Is it inflation? So it went up from that, oh, that's a heartbreak, $140. Now it's not a horrible horrible price, but I am, again, I'm factoring in the, the fact that they bumped it up 10 bucks. I don't, we wanna keep these running shoe companies accountable and it's like, why? Is it because of the Flight Foam Blast Plus? I don't know. So we're gonna hold them accountable with a five, I believe I gave them a five out of 10 for that, which impacts the overall score here in one second. But first, other shoes to buy on your screen. Nova Blast 2, I don't think you'll be able to buy the one at this point. It's uh, definitely not out there on the marketplace. New Balance 1080 V12 and last, I know, so this is a, this is a, um, this is a stability shoe, but it's, it acts, I would say it feels under step more like a neutral shoe, but it has some stability-esque, I'm gonna put it in the light category for the stability, it's the Saucony Tempest. I love the Saucony Tempest. I would buy that shoe in a heartbeat, all right? Over this shoe, over the Nova Blast 3. All right, moving on, shoe quick specs for the Nova Blast 3. Soak them in one more time, there you go. Flight Foam Blast plus a har on the outsole and $140. Oh, now listen, I gave it an eight out of 10 for the ride and energy. There's the full review score right now. I gave it eight out of, so the ride and energy is still there. I don't think it's as good as the two. It's, you know, and I, I definitely don't feel the bounce like I did in the one, um, but it's all these other factors, the girth, the price point, uh, what else, what else? I think that was, I think those are the two major factors. The outsole, the fact that, that the decoupled groove, that was the other one. Decoupled groove, girth, and price point is just not where I'd like to see the shoe lineup going. All right, and that's just me. All right, so let us know. It's gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot in the comments. Go down to the comments, make your case two, three, maybe one. If, you, if you're like a one fan, I would anyway, if you can still go buy the Nova Blast 2, I would eat them up in a Heartbeat. All right, comment of the day goes out to Jana. Uh, thank you, Jana, for being one of the best uh, running you. Uh, I don't know about that. In terms of your running and speed, you make your reviews beginner friendly. I try, like decoupled groove. Did you know what a decoupled groove was before watching? That's a, a groove through the outsole, all right? That's what you have there. When I started being a little more precise when buying shoes, I didn't really understand some of these terms and wish people would explain them in their reviews. Jana, you're welcome. Thanks for tuning in to the note. That was from the Nova Blast 2 full review, which I will link to. Well, we'll link to it right here. All right, right there, right there, right there. I don't know if there's any actually available. If there are, you gotta, you gotta go buy them up while you can. Uh, who knows? We'll see what they do with the Nova Blast 4, but Flight Foam Blast Plus, it's fun. It's an exciting midsole, but will it last long, you know, past that 300 mark at a high level? I'm not sure. All right, love you all. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.